You've asked me to comment on CGI, here is me commenting on CGI. Uh, and this is from the perspective as a professional commercial photographer. And for those of you who are new to this channel, I have recently shot for Greg's GoPuff, Ocado, PepsiCo, Doritos, I can't remember, others. Reasonably big campaigns. There's been parts where my work has been all over London. Um, and my work has a CGI vibe to it. Um, if you head over to my website, website, the Scotch Athenia, not the Tin House Studios one, you will see some of what my work looks like. It looks very fake. Now, I'm not sure where this whole CGI fear has come from. I believe it might be, and do correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong, um, from computers getting better and it being more accessible to people. So let's talk about CGI replacing photography and will it replace photography? And no, well, let's start off with no, but let me explain why. But no, CGI will not replace photography um, in the same way that photography will not replace painting and the same way, you know, it goes on and on and on. At a high end commercial level, this will not replace what we do. Now, at a mid low end range, I think CGI might wipe the floor because averagely done at a cheap price it's easier than photography um, and it's better and they can get exactly what they want but at the premium end you can create a very similar image with cgi as to what you can with a photograph that is true from a legal standpoint meh. mcdonald's can't have a cgi beef burger on their billboard um, tesco's can't have a cgi shopping thing um cars they do CGI's for cars, they still photograph them because they need a real photograph of the car. They can't have a digital representation for certain adverts. There are certain laws that mean that CGI cannot replace photography. That is reason one. Reason two, CGI doesn't look like photography in some instances. Now, there are certain things you can do where it will look the same. I've got a picture of an avocado on my website, it would look the same in CGI. It would cost exponentially more to create but it would look pretty much the same. There are other things which will not look the same. Um, it is the same difference between getting it right in camera and fixing it in post. There are certain things where you can fix it in post and it will look the same as getting it right in camera and there are other things which just do not. There is also the creative element toward this where there are certain things as a creative concept which they come about during the shoot. So we will often receive a CGI scamp, which is a digital artist representation of what we need to shoot, but we will create the image. Now, sometimes they don't want a photographer, they want a drawing, and they will pay someone to draw the image. Now, you'd say, well, but they can photograph it better than you can draw it. Yes, they can, but the drawing has an aesthetic. I, they can CGI it better than I can photograph it, but the photograph has an aesthetic. These things matter at a high premium end of the business. Now, I work a lot with CGI artists because a lot of my work has CGI built into it. Uh, and let me explain how this is. So on a drink shoot, the bottle may be a CGI model, but the glasses of drink, they're real. They have to be. The crisp packet in the bottom right hand corner, which saying here is the product, that will be a CGI. But the photograph of the crisp being eaten and whatever it is, that'll be a photograph. And that has been the case for years. Uh, like throughout my career that has been the case we've always used cgi modeling for certain things um often like when we're shooting say it's a gin and tonic and we've got the the gin and the tonic in the glass and the bottle at the background we will put the bottle in place and then replace it with the perfect cgi version because it's quicker than photoshopping the bottle into perfection um but the drinks they have to be drinks you can cgi a drink it doesn't ever look as good it always looks cgi but legally it can't be there you can't have a false representation of that that's just not okay in advertising um so there we go that that's why cgi won't replace it now there are things where you can cgi them legally in adverts uh, digital products and sometimes be cgi or whatever it may be but it's not going to replace photography in the same way that photography didn't replace drawing in the same way that drawing didn't replace painting and, you know, they're just different mediums. They're different art forms. These clients will know exactly the medium they want to represent the advert they're creating. They just will. In the same way that they'll know the exact photographer they want to make the shoot for the aesthetic they need. It's not just a case of going, we can do it in post. That, that doesn't work. At this level of work, what's important is it exactly how the creative director wants it to be. And because of that, photography is not going away. It's just not going to go away. Um, 
and CGI would not be replacing it at a high end. But yes, of course, I can see the low end Amazon shots, CGI them. You know, at some point in the near future, it'll be cheaper to CGI them, I believe. Um, but let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on CGI work replacing photography. I'd love to hear it. love to know it. Have you started learning CGI? Um, do you want a video on whether photographers should learn CGI? I, I can create that from my opinions. Let me know. And yeah, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.